Hey everyone, traffic light and stop sign control has finally landed in Australia. So this is actually version 2020.20.13. Uh, I got it installed on my Tesla Model 3 and I've used it for about two days now. So for those not familiar with this feature, basically when the car is in autopilot and it sees a traffic light or a stop sign, it will show a little message on the screen, uh, whether it's red, green or amber. Uh, if you want to continue through the traffic light, you have to tap down on the drive stalk to tell it to keep going. So I've collected a series of clips uh, that demonstrate some quirks that I've seen. So the first thing I've noticed was the lights that appear on the screen are actually a bit brighter. So the red icon on the right there has a, like a red glow around it. Now the red turn signals, although the red arrows still show up. So in this clip, I'll zoom in a little bit on that traffic signal and hopefully you can see that there's like a right arrow there. Uh, and it might be a bit clear here that there's actually a, a red glow around that traffic light. So I guess that's trying to indicate that the car understands that that traffic light uh, is applying to the vehicle right now. So giving you some information about what the car is thinking about that traffic light. Now this next clip, uh, I don't have autopilot on, but it gives you a look of what the car will see if you go through an amber light. So the traffic lights show up as yellow in the screen there. And nothing really happens because I, you know, I was doing a right turn, so I couldn't leave autopilot on anyway. But that's kind of what it looks like if it go through a yellow light. Another thing I noticed was that the message that shows up on the screen when you're approaching a set of traffic lights, the initial icon is like a blank traffic light. So you notice there, it's just a traffic light that's got gray lights. But as you get closer and it reads the traffic light, it actually shows the current state of the traffic light that it's approaching. So right now it's red and you'll notice that the top light in that icon there is showing a red light, which is pretty cool. Okay, in this next clip, uh, the car goes towards a roundabout. Now, roundabout usually has a giveaway sign before it in Australia, and it's not a traffic light or a stop sign, so this is obviously not gonna work, but it's interesting to see what happens. So as you approach, uh, it says that there's a T-junction, and then when you get really close, it freaks out, and then basically the car comes to a stop. Uh, so if you are trying this, make sure that you take control of the car, and make this turn yourself. So right now, this software cannot take roundabouts. Oh my God, don't go on roundabout like this. Stopping for traffic in 25 minutes. Does it actually stop? Whoa. Oh my God. It stopped way too high. I'm gonna have car sick. So again, another clip of a roundabout, but this time, uh, if you look at the message closely, it actually shows a roundabout icon. So I thought that it might do something different, but the same result happens basically. As you get close, uh, the car kind of freaks out a little bit. It slows down a lot. And if you don't do anything, uh, basically it'll stop the car for you. So here again, I took control of the car uh, and then made it through the roundabout myself. The way the car reacts to T-junctions uh, and roundabouts are very similar. So in this clip, I'm approaching like a, a T-junction here. Now this particular road is a bit weird. Usually um, the road I'm on has right of way. Uh, basically the car just comes to the T-junction and was going to come to a complete stop. Uh, so there was traffic behind me, so I took control and just went through the T-junction myself. This next T-junction uh, is basically a small road uh, meeting a, a larger road. So usually at this point, you would have to complete, come to a complete stop. Uh, but it does say give way here. Uh, in this scenario, the car wasn't actually going to stop. It was actually going to run straight through into this large road. So I had to hit the brakes here uh, and make the car stop. So apart from traffic light and stop sign control, um, we also get better cones now. So as I approach this construction site, the fallen over cone actually shows properly on the screen, which is pretty cool. I mean, not functionally cool, but visually cool, I guess. So after hearing about this traffic light control stuff, um, naturally the first thing I thought about was, can I make the car run a red light? Uh, and the answer is no. So if it sees a red light, uh, I'm tapping down on the stalk here. I keep tapping, I tap so much that I turn on Rainbow Road uh, and it just won't go through the red light. Um, so no, you cannot make the car run a red light. So that's about it for my observations uh, after using it for two days. I'm sure this will improve over time and hopefully one day we'll be able to just set a destination and get, let the car drive us there. So I guess I'll leave you guys with a bonus clip where I do an auto park. So I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.